Hey everyone, Dusty here with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Google Keep. Google Keep is a, a task list slash reminder tool. Uh, it's free, provided by Google. Basically, you log into your Google account and you get access to Keep. It's basically at keep.google.com. I'll put the link in the description of this video. This is going to be a full overview of all of the different tools, all of the different things that you can do with Google Keep. Um, and when it comes to productivity and finding apps that work, what I've found is that we can get overwhelmed. There are so many different options. A lot of them are convoluted. A lot of them are complicated. Google Keep, it just, it keeps it simple. Uh, that's the, the best way I know how to put it. So as you can see here, we're in the user interface here. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see a few different things here. You're gonna see uh, notes, and then you're gonna see reminders. We'll cover that here shortly. And then you're gonna see labels. These are gonna be ways that you can label and categorize the different notes and reminders that you put into Google Keep. Um, I've got three examples here. Um, a couple of them colored, a couple of them have images, and I'll show you how to do all of that uh, quickly. Uh, and so basically when you want to start out with Google Keep and you want to go ahead and jot down your first note, uh, basically all you have to do is in this little text box up here in the center where it says take a note, click the, uh, the cursor there where it says take a note and you're going to see a bunch of different options here. Now I will say this, this is not by any means a, a, a word processor. This is not a text expander. This is not Microsoft Word. This is just a place where you can uh, keep and organize notes and reminders like shopping list, uh, items that you need to pick up, different things you need to do for your business. Uh, for YouTube, this is wonderful because you can go through here and you can actually keep little notes per video and I've found it to be very, very simple simplistic and it really keeps me on track with my videos. So you click your cursor there in the take note and then you go ahead and create notes. So you go ahead and, and, and create a new note here and you type out whatever you want to type. And then when you're ready, just click off that note and that will create a new little tablet over here. It looks like a little notebook over here all by itself. And then once you're done, you can either edit it up here and change the color and the layout. Or once you've created it here, you've got a couple of different options. We're going to go left to right. The first one here is going to be reminders. You can click this uh, here and it will remind you this right here is probably one of the coolest features of Google Keep. Uh, if we click the little bell icon there where it says remind me, we can have it remind us at a specific time, whether it be later later that day, tomorrow, a different time during the week, or what's even cooler than that is a location. So you can pick a place or a location. So you can see here, here's the home location, there's the work location, or you can pick a random place. So you have to make sure that you allow Google Keep to uh, keep track of where you are. Uh, and if that's something that bothers you or worries you, it doesn't do that automatically. And then you just start typing in a location. So if I know that the grocery store is, you know, this location here, and I select that location, Next time I'm there, it's going to pop up on my mobile phone or my mobile device and say, hey, this note is set to remind you, here is your shopping list once you're at the grocery store. So if you want to go to your local Kroger or Ingalls or whatever the shopping store of your choice is, you can have it remind you once it gets to that location. You hit save and it'll have a little uh, notation here saying that, hey, this is going to remind you when you get to that, that place. Uh, collaborator, uh, this is going to be where you can email. So if someone else has a Gmail account or a Google Keep account, or even if they don't, it'll still send them the reminder or you know the invite to collaborate to download Google Keep. You can just type in their email address here. So if we go ahead and type in my other email address here and then click save, it's going to actually invite that person and you're gonna be able to see here a list of people who are collaborating on this specific note. So for each specific note by note, you can choose different people to collaborate with. You don't have to say, oh, I'm gonna collaborate with this person on all of my notes. It's gonna be note by note. So that's kind of how you do that there. And then when you're done with something, you just click off the note and you're good to go. Um, the next one's going to be change color. This one, again, the aesthetics of Google Keep is very simplistic, but I really do like the layout. So here we can go and we can change the color of that note to a nice teal color. Uh, we can even add an image. As you see here, I've added an image of a, a save button there. So I can go here, click the add image, and then I can go here and find images on uh, my uh, computer. And if I find an image that I really like and I really want to use, I can go here and select that image, go to open, and then it's going to add that image above my note. A great way to kind of visualize different things that you may need uh, to remember or put on a specific note. Next, we're going to see one that says archive. Now, if you want to archive something, when you do this, it's not deleting it. It's just archiving it and it's letting you know this is done. You've completed this. Uh, we can go and delete that later. So if we click that where it says archive, now if we go over to the archive section over here on the left-hand side, 
all of the notes that we've archived are going to be here. Now, if we want to completely remove a note, um, I'm gonna do that now. I will create a new note here. And I've created that new note. We click the three uh, vertical dots here that says more. And then we, the first option here says delete note. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that note and it is completely gone. Uh, and then if we go to our trash here, you're gonna see a bunch of different notes here that we've deleted. Go to empty trash empty trash once more and boom, all of those notes are completely gone uh, and they're deleted after seven days automatically anyways. But if we go to our archive section here and then we go to the archive button, it'll actually give us an option to unarchive that. So if we did that by mistake, we can now go back to our notes and here it is in our Google Keep section. All right, so next here, I wanna show you a couple of different options under the more section. The one you wanna get familiar with is the one here that says add label. If we add a label here, you see I've got a couple of different labels. These, This is just a simple way to categorize your notes and reminders so they don't all go into one uh, lump sum. This allows you to say, you know, this one's personal, this one's for work, this one's for YouTube. And then if we actually want to create a new label, we just go ahead and enter the label name here where it says label. And then we'll go ahead and create one called tutorial just for the purposes of this video. And then it says create tutorial. You Click that and then it automatically adds that note into that label. The beauty of this is, is that when we're at our note section here and we're looking at all of the different, the different notes here that Google Keep has and that we've created, we're gonna be able to see all of the different options that we've put on all of these different notes and reminders. You can see here, I've added this one to the YouTube label. I've added this one to the videography label. I've added this one to the personal label. This one has a location reminder. So you can see all of the different things here at a glance once you're in your notes section, exactly uh, you know what that is. Now, if we click the more option, here we can actually add a drawing if you want to do that you can even add drawing uh, it gives you the options to select a pen or a highlighter or whatever and you can create a nice little drawing if you want to I don't know why you'd want to do that maybe you know add something to your notes there and then once we go back that will be added to your note once we close out you're good to go uh, the next option here is going to be make a copy if you know you're going to create similar notes and you don't want to go through and add all the different options again select the options here go to make a copy it'll create a brand new note exactly Exactly the same as this one. It will remove the location and the collaboration. That will allow you to go through and add new location reminders, new collaborators if you want to. The next one here is going to be show checkboxes. If we click that there, you can see like this one here, like, like a shopping list or a grocery list. So if we click this one here, we may want to go to show checkboxes. This allows us to go through here and check stuff off. Again, just a nice visual way to remind yourself and to see kind of what you're getting at the grocery store so you don't run around like I do at the grocery store trying to figure out where everything is. The next one here is going to be hide check boxes where you can go and remove the checkbox option there. And then you can grab an image text if you want to. So we can grab an image text if that's something that you want to do. And then you could even copy this over to Google Docs. One of the main benefits of Google Keep is the ability, it just easily streamlines with the other Google tools like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google, um, you know, all the different Google suite of tools that you may use on a regular basis like I do, it automatically, if we click copy to Google Docs, it'll automatically now, when we go to Google Docs, our Google document and we're logged in, it'll show us that actual note there in Google Documents. And if we go to open document, you can see here, here's the note, here's the images, here's the contents of that note there in Google Docs. It works really well with the other tools provided by Google. Uh, over here under labels, you're gonna see all of the different labels that we've created. If you want to edit the labels at a glance, you click the edit labels button there, you can create a new label, you can go here, you can delete that specific label, or if you wanna edit the name of that label, you click the pencil icon to rename that specific label, and it will allow you to go through and maybe fix a grammatical error that you did originally. And speaking of reminders here, if we go here and we take a note, we can see that all of our notes are here, but if we go to reminders here, anything that we set it to remind us of, it will be here under reminders. So they do kind of differentiate the notes and the reminder section. So do keep that in mind. And always remember that anything that you do here on the actual note, you can do as you're creating that note. So you can add a reminder here. You could add someone to collaborate with. You can change the color, the images, and all of the different more options are here as well as you're creating that note. Something else you may want to know is you can actually organize your Google Keep 
differently if you want to. So if we go here, a couple of different options, you're gonna have a list view option. So if we click list view, this is going to list all of our notes in a vertical way. I actually like to see them uh, in kind of a boxed section here where I can go through. It's kind of very Trello-esque if you've ever used Trello, where it kind of goes through and shows you at a, at a glance everything that you've kind of added as of late. Uh, under refresh here, if you've added something on the mobile side of things that you want to see here on desktop and it's not there yet, if you click refresh, that should show up very quickly. And then under settings here, you can go to settings and you can see here it actually has a dark mode, which is something that a lot of people are very much into. So if we click that, it's going to add a dark mode, which will again change the colors of those boxes to, to be better uh, visible as you're looking at the dark mode. Uh, and then if we go to settings here, you're gonna see a couple of different options here. Um, reminder defaults are gonna be, you, know, you can set the different times. Uh, you can move checked items to the bottom or the top. Again, go through this, look and see if there's something that's going to fit your lifestyle the way that you're gonna be utilizing Google Keep. And then once you're ready to go, click save and all of those changes will be made. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to help me out by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel for more great tutorial videos just like this. Really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. I will talk to you guys in the next video.